Jesus was truth with skin on it. So what's the truth about God? Do you ever feel confused about what's true, what's not true? Trust me, you're not the only one. It's easy to get mixed up when books and preachers teach the Bible from different angles and backgrounds, and they kind of do it in different ways. And that's because humans can only understand God partially. Our sinful state can muddy things up, and everything's a little mixture in the end. Uh, our understandings, uh, we work them through, and we work through them together, and we don't give up. 1 Corinthians 13, 12 compares it to the experience of looking through a dirty window. The way that we understand God often gets mixed up with our own filters of ideas and other experiences, and we don't have that perfect understanding of the Lord, but we will when we meet him face to face, and we will meet him face to face, every single one of us. But thankfully, God gave us one very reliable way to see what he's like. He gave us himself in Jesus. Jesus said this about himself. I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him, and you have seen him. That's John 14, 6 and 7. So if you really want to know the truth about God, just look at Jesus in the word. You see all about him. Everything you need to know is in the Bible. Jesus is the perfect embodiment of truth. He said that to know him is the same as knowing the Father himself. Jesus' life story shows us how God engages with humanity, how he showed love to this broken world and to our broken selves. And we can see how he treated others, just how he dealt with conflict, how he nurtured relationships, how he related with the Father, how he loved other people. You read those words and you look in the Word of God and look at the actions of Jesus. It is the best way, the best way to understand the truth because he is the truth. That's what he said, right? So if you want to read about the life of Jesus, a great place to start. If you haven't done it already, or maybe if you have, go back there anyway. If you're wondering, what do I do next? Go to the book of John. I challenge you, start reading the book of John today. You'll get to know Jesus more and more. Let us know then what you discover about the truth. We want to stay in touch and I want to hear from you. So stay in touch, okay? Will you do it?